to everyone who played a role in turning this dream into a reality. My gratitude extends to my fellow board members for their steadfast support in realizing this shared vision. A special announcement goes to former Superintendent Dr. Avis Williams for her foresight and to Dr. Bird and his team for their exemplary leadership in bringing this vision to life. A huge shout out to Ms. Grendel Harris, our CSFO, for her diligent efforts in ensuring that we met our budgetary goals. If you know Mrs. Harris, you know what I mean by that. She's a stickler to keeping our finances in order. The outstanding design by McKee and Associates and the commitment of Stewart Construction and his team to constructing a top-notch facility deserves special recognition. To our students, teachers, and parents, your patience during this process has been invaluable, and we thank you sincerely. If you didn't know, most of our students started in the school, and in mid-year, we had to move them to Knox Academy. After a year in Knox Academy, the tornado hit, and we had to uproot those students to R.B. Hudson. So their patience in this process has been steadfast, and we, 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 we owe them uh, a huge uh, amount of thanks, and this building will represent that. So let's continue fostering an environment of collaboration, curiosity, and knowledge. Here's to a bright future ahead for our new School of Discovery. Now, without further ado, let the groundbreaking commence. Thank you all for being part of this incredible journey. This time I'll bring Mayor Perkins, and he'll bring prayer and greetings. Hello, everybody. Ooh, that was weak. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. This is a festive time, and I am uh, on to do greetings and prayer. And I want to make sure that those who know very little about Selma, I want you to know that's not a mistake because you do have a praying mayor. And so I, I look forward to moving into the prayer after these few comments. I want to acknowledge uh, the chairman of the board, uh, Mr. Moss, and his comments. He has acknowledged everyone who I think needs to be and should be acknowledged at this point. And so I want to just, uh, just acknowledge your comments and embrace them and push them forward. I also would acknowledge um, and mention that the members of the Selma City Council who are present at the governing body here, uh, I see several of them here, and so I acknowledge their presence and their support of this as well. This is a great day in our community. This is a great opportunity for us uh, to demonstrate uh, both financially and in effort uh, the commitment we have for educating our children. And so, and, and we, we all recognize the importance of this project. It's not about just brick and mortar. It is also uh, about uh, the quality of education that will be uh, shared with our young people uh, in this new modern facility. And so we do have a lot to be thankful for. And, and that's why prayer is so important because prayer can go where we cannot go. And prayer can do what we cannot do. And so, it, with having said that, I would like to, uh, at this time, uh, just uh, pray and just thank God for the, the blessing that he is sharing with us right now. Also, uh, prior to that, I want to acknowledge that just in case I'm not able to stay for the complete groundbreaking, I do want my shovel. <laughs> you, you got that, Daryl? I do want my, my shovel, but I, I do have something at noon that I'm hosting. And I really wouldn't, I made, just in case we're not able to do that, I want to make sure that, that, you know, I'm not being rude. I'm just need, need to uh, need to move on. Father, we come right now acknowledging that you are God. There is no other God but you. We acknowledge your presence because you're everywhere all the time. We acknowledge your power. But we know that there's no where we can go and nothing that we can do without you. We acknowledge your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding, because you have all knowledge, and we thank you for sharing your knowledge, your power, and your presence with us. And we thank you for sharing the wisdom and the understanding of the power of education, that which we are 
vigorously pressing to provide to our children. We acknowledge the effort that needs to go into this project from the moving of the dirt to the elevation of the roof, uh, from the installation of the technology to the disbursement of love by teachers. Father, we ask now that you will bless this place. We ask that everything that is done in this place and space will be pleasing to you. We pray that every teacher that would enter this space will be kind and gentle and share their knowledge and understanding with the children. We ask that every desk will be blessed. Every, every petri dish in the science department will be blessed. Every brick that will be placed will be pressed. Every thing that is done in this space, we ask you to bless it. We give you praise and glory for everything that you've already done. If all you, it was through you, we have the resources to accomplish this task. We thank you for what's happening right now as we celebrate what you've already done. And we thank you for what you're going to do because it is through you that this building will come from the ground up and that it will be occupied by our babies who will learn, occupied by teachers who will teach, occupied by administrators who will administer the goodness of education in our community. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord, incline your ear to us and grant us your peace. Amen. Amen. Do I need to bring the next person up? Okay. At this time, uh, our own superintendent, Dr. Zacchaeus Bird, is going to come forward. Dr. Bird. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are certainly delighted to have all of you all here on today, and we thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us for this groundbreaking ceremony for the new School of Discovery. This groundbreaking event is a, is a symbolic, it is symbolic of our school district's commitment to educational excellence for every child in Selma City Schools and marks the beginning of the new era of how we educate children in our community. Celebrate, celebrating student learning with highly visible instructional spaces framed by an instructional model where our students construct greater meaning from their learning by connecting content that has typically been taught as separate subjects is a breakthrough for Selma. The School of Discovery has been repurposed and reimagined to be a state-of-the-art performing arts magnet academy that will focus on 2 and 3D arts, music, dance, theater, and so much more. <coughs> Implementing project and problem-based teaching and learning will prepare our students for a stronger high school and post-secondary experience like, like never before. Preparing our students for the rest of their lives has never been more exciting than right now. The School of Discovery will be a place where our children will have the tools to realize their dreams and potential, and the focus will be on enhancing STEAM education through rich content and innovative hands-on and minds-on experiences. The new School of Discovery will be a game changer in how we educate our children and will make Selma more attractive for many families for decades to come. We are thrilled to have you here at this groundbreaking ceremony, and I would like to thank our outstanding Board of Education for your leadership, your vision, your commitment, and your approval in making this happen, not only for our scholars, but the entire city of Selma. This project has forced the board to make many sacrifices because we know that limited funding only goes so far but again, we thank you for being willing to make those sacrifices and allowing this new $17.8 million edifice to be constructed. Special thanks goes out to our Selma City employees and central office for all your hard work and planning. A special thanks goes out to Mr. Joe Peterson, our wonderful maintenance and transportation supervisor for all of the long days and nights in sitting in, sitting in meetings and making this outcome a reality. We'd also like to thank Ms. Felicia Tinker, the former principal of SOD. We thank you for your leadership, patience, understanding, but most of all, we thank you so much for your flexibility. I know it wasn't easy in transitioning in, from so many buildings. We thank you so much. 
We also like to thank, of course, all of the uh, former employees of SOD. We thank you all for leaving a mark, for making this building what it is, and of course, for making sure that SOD, that it lives in the lives and the minds of past generations and future generations. Also, a special thanks goes out to our very own Miss Cynthia Millage for all of your planning and making this wonderful event happen. I would also like to thank the mayor and the city council and our county and our county commissioners for your outstanding partnership. We also realize that without you all, that this wouldn't have happened. Last but certainly not least, we're thankful for one of the best architectural firms in the Key and Associates for your side-by-side -side support and your mo and our most trusted construction company, Stewart Construction. We thank you for bidding on this project, and we realize, of course, that you had so many other projects that you could have bid it on throughout this state, but we thank you so much for choosing home. Thank you so much. And again, thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us on today. We will follow the program as printed. We will have remarks uh, from the mayor uh, or city council members. We have some remarks from our Selma City School Board members, McKee and Associates, as well as Stewart, uh, Stewart Construction Company. We will have those in that order. Thank you all so much. Uh, representing the city of Selma today, President of City Council, Billy Young, and also the council person for this ward, Councilman Michael Johnson, if you all will come forward at this time. Following them, School Board of Education, I'm sure uh, the chairman will provide some instruction for you. Thank you to the school board, uh, mayor, city council, uh, superintendent, uh, because um, this is a school that I went to. And I um, really didn't want to see the school go down, but it's always good to always upgrade. And right about now, I'm looking at what I uh, already got started, and I want to just say thank you. Thank you so much for the hard work that uh, stood by the people that to do. And uh, again, all I just want to say thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, I, I can't hear you good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Billy. There we go. There we go. Look, I'm going to be just like February. I'm going to be short and sweet. <laughs> you are. Thank you. <laughs> Today is a wonderful day. It's a blessed day. I'm so grateful that Mayor Perkins offered that prayer, because if you listen to the things that he was saying, we are a grateful people. For we all know that we are only here because of the blessings of God. And so today, I smile, you smile, and God is smiling on Selma, Alabama. So we're just going to hope and wish that this school serves as one of the best schools, not just in the state of Alabama, but in this entire nation, because we know what's here in Selma. Selma is a wonderful place. We have wonderful children, wonderful parents, and we have some wonderful people. Thank you to everybody that made this possible. God bless you. God bless Selma, Alabama. Thank you. Uh, also present today, uh, Council Members Lisa James and Councilwoman uh, Janie Thomas and the Planning and Development Director. Um, what's your name? Danielle Wooten. Yeah, come on. Keep going. She knows I know her name. I just teach her. Uh, but we want to thank everyone uh, for what you're doing here today. Mr. Chairman. What I also recognize just now. Probate Judge, Dallas County. Uh, board members, would you like to make some comments? I think anything's calling me. <laughs> Come on, Miss O. Here comes a gentleman. Um, this moment marks the beginning of a journey. 
a journey toward innovation, growth, and excellence in education. And it could not have been done without the vision of these board members that are standing with us today, without the administration, um, particularly without Randall Harris and Cicely Curtis, our um, CSFO and our federal programs director. Um, because I don't know if you all know, Dr. Bird gave you guys the dollar amount, but he did not tell you guys that this board and this school system is able to do this debt free thanks to the um, funds that have been provided by our um, local, state, and federal government. And so, with that, we are excited. Um, we did not want to utilize this, we wanted to take those funds and make lemons out of lemonade. We wanted to make sure that we could provide something that our students would be able to see for years to come. We didn't want to look back and say, well, what did we spend the money on? Well, we know what we spent the money on. We spent the money on a, on a place, on a school, on a learning environment where our children are gonna thrive, where they're gonna grow socially, uh, where we are going to ignite their creativity. And so with that being said, I don't know if any other board members have anything to say, but we want to thank you guys. We want to thank the community. We want to thank Dr. Bird, as well as the um, architects and I know I got on their nerves, but it's all good because we did it for our scholars. And so with that, thank you all so much. And we are just excited that we are able to bring this to the scholars of Selma City School System. Hello everyone, I'm Brenda Okamonum. And I just had to say something because I was one of the teachers that was selected to uh, work here at the School of Discovery. All the teachers were hand chosen. You know, just been come up in here and work. They chose hand chose all the teachers. So I was blessed to be one that was hand chosen back in the day. And I just want to, to reiterate some things. I want this to be the crowning glory of Selma. Yes. It used to be.